picking up silent heats. Be hardly any marking on the tail paint, or you know, you might see a little bit of rubbing on a cow, but you're not quite sure whether she's on or not. But the flash mate tells you is, yeah, it's no line with it really. It's either on or it's off, and that's why I find that really valuable. Now, we've been on this property since 2008. I mean, 270 crossbred cows. The, the flash mates definitely help you pick up those cows that you'd normally miss. Um, you know, you'd be looking at tail paint, and tail paint can be very slightly marked or, or hardly even marked at all. And yet, the flash mates telling you the cow's on. And, and you know, nine times out of ten, the AB technician, if they're willing to tell you, will tell you that yeah, the cow, as she was probably on, it was the right thing to put her up. So, yeah, they, they, you're definitely picking up more cows earlier on. Uh, with the flash mates than what we would have without them. Now, my experience with flash mate is that it's been a pretty good product. Uh, when I came home here to the farm, I hadn't had a lot of experience, and you know we wanted to have every bit of information or technology available to help me through with the mating, really, for the been first time, sort of chucked on the deep end. Um, so you returned to the flash mates and seemed to work pretty well. Um, the second year, we went away to another product. Um, but then we've gone back, so yeah, I've used it. Must have been five years in a row now we've used the flash mates and always find it really good. It's sort of no hit and miss, no arguments. You know, all the flash mates fit in with the farm system because you know we're doing the mating anyway and we might as well be using the, the latest and greatest technology to help us with that sort of thing. Um, you now we've trialled a bit with uh, neck collars, so the flash mates are a lot more uh, attainable in terms of cost. Um, and it correspond, it all corresponds. So yeah, it, it fits in well for a system like this. You know, we try to keep costs down and, and that. And, um, you know, using one flash mate for the season that stays with the cow the whole mating. It, it works well. Yeah, just the flash mates. That's been one of the things that we've adopted. You know, we like to be pretty, pretty forward thinking and, and like to make use of technology and stuff like that. Yeah, well, our empty rates have have dropped a lot. Um, we've done a lot of things in the years that I've been home. Um, we've you know, we've done the normal six weeks of AI, um, used cedars middle of that six weeks, used cedars early, not used cedars at all the last couple of years because um, our pre-mating heats have been really good. Um, it's just, I think it's a, it's just a matter of watching your cows closely. Yeah, I, I think I do attribute the flash mates to have been a big chunk of that lift and um, that flash mates is another is just another visual thing you can say that cow's she's definitely not on and then you don't put that cow up for AI so you're not getting that embryonic loss but um, up to losing 80% of those embryos that you when you re put up a cow again that's a lot it's a lot to lose and yeah it it's, makes the flash much pretty cheap I reckon <laughs> Yeah, you know, it helps me spot those signs a lot better because I'll be looking at the flash mate going um, and thinking to myself, why is she flashing? So yeah, she's, you know, you can tell that there's no arguments. They're on or they're off. So it's definitely, it definitely does help um, get your eye in with the finding those cows that are having more silent heats or quiet heats. Two and three year old cows are definitely tricky to to pick up. I mean we find that they have a lot of pressure on them. They're coming in, especially your, your two year olds are coming into the herd that you know that calf for the first time, they're at the bottom of the pecking order, they stand at the back of the yard and they you know have a lot of pressure, they're losing condition, all those things against them coming into mating. But yeah it's just a matter of using those tools to help you pick up when they're having heats too. They're probably having quieter heats because they're not as they're struggling a wee bit. So yeah I mean last year we didn't have any empty two-year-olds and I had one empty three-year-old so you know, something's obviously working for us. The flash mates definitely help you pick up those cows that you'd normally miss. Um, you know you'd be looking at tail paint and tail paint can be very slightly marked or, or hardly even marked at all and yet the flash mates telling you the cow's on and, and you know nine times out of ten the AV technician if they're willing to tell you or tell you that yeah the cow as she was probably on it was the right thing to put her up so yeah they, they you're definitely picking up more cows. Yeah, you just got to make sure you do that brushing a couple of days out, get, get your cows nice and clean and prepared for it, which you have to do for most things that you're sticking on anyway. So, um, yeah, we find it really, really easy. It's an easy job to do. It's just you need help, and that's one thing with me in the shed. I've got a one-man one rotary with automatic cup removers and stuff, so 
I tend to have to call on a bit of help to, to get that job done and with the reapplying every two weeks but it's just yeah it's one of those things once they're on they're on kind of thing it's they, yeah it's not a hard job at all customer support with the phone mates is that is fantastic you know you can pick up the phone and, and Fraser or Matt or someone like that in the past has, has been right there so I think it's a really good product but just yeah normal people should be using it really. Thank you.